If you're planting crops in succession, you're likely cleaning out your fields and beds in between plantings. After you complete your first harvest, you might take down extra stalks, remove unwanted branches, and dig out roots to prepare for your next plants to be put in the ground. Similarly, you may want to clean up your Farmbrite plantings page to remove plantings that you are finished with. You can do this by marking the plantings as complete. Let's take a look at the software and see how. You can mark plantings complete under the My Crops or Grow Locations section. I'll show you how to do both in this video, but let's start with My Crops. I'll scroll through our list and find our lettuce, and see that we have three beds of it currently planted. Two of them have already been fully harvested, but we've left the last one as unharvested to account for a scenario where you may have lost the crop due to pests or weather. Note that we see all three of these plantings on the Current Plantings tab. In general, this means that the plants are still in the ground and you are still working with them. But if we've completed the harvest, we can choose the Actions menu and choose to Mark Complete. You'll see that that immediately removes the planting from the Current Plantings menu, and we'll now see it in the History. We can open the lettuce beds and still see this one shown here as complete. So since it's no longer currently planted, you won't see it here when you first get to this page, but you can always reference it under the history. Now let's move over to Grow Locations, and we'll find that same lettuce bed, and see that we have different selections in this menu and different tabs across the top of the screen. Because that completed planting was part of the 2024 planting year, we'll still see it here, even though it's marked as complete. And of course, we'll see those other two plantings here as well. But when we navigate to currently planted, we won't see that complete planting in bed one, but we will still see it under the harvested tab since it was harvested earlier this year. We'll go back to the current year and then take a look at bed two, where you'll see the same option for marking the planting as complete in the actions menu. And now when we go to currently planted, we'll see it's no longer shown in bed two, but again, still shown under the harvested tab. But what about that planting that we didn't harvest that had issues that caused us to lose the crop? If we mark this one as complete, again, we'll still see it here in the 2024 planting year, but it won't be shown under currently planted, and in this case, won't be shown under harvested either, as there were no harvests from that particular planting. However, if you did want to reference it, you can still navigate to planting history, and you'll see it displayed here. Overall, marking your plantings as complete is a great way to clean up the currently planted tab so that you can easily know what grow locations you have free to create your new plantings. Let's put our next crop of lettuce into bed one so that we can harvest it before our first frost. Reach out to us and let us know if you have any questions about using this feature.